Hey there, everybody. In this quick video, we're going to cover the most used terminal commands that you will be using during your time at NSS. You can see here I have my terminal window open already with those basic commands typed in here. We have CD, which allows you to change between directories in your terminal. We have PWD, which lets you see where you are in your terminal. MKDIR, which allows you to make a directory. LS, to look around and see what's inside a directory. Touch, which is to create a file. Clear, which is simply to clear your terminal. And then RM, which allows you to delete things. And we're going to go over each one of these pretty quickly just by setting up the basic directory structure for Martin's Aquarium, which is the first project that you're going to be creating in class. So we're going to start off with the PWD command just to see how it works. You can see in my terminal, I'm already in my workspace directory, which you set up during your installation day on day two of NSS. So I'm going to try PWD here. And what it does is it gives you a, the full location of where you currently are in your file system on your computer. So there it is. It's just like writing somebody's street address when you mail them a letter. This is as specific as you get. That first slash is literally the root of your operating system file structure and where you currently are. I'm now three subdirectories beneath the root of the operating system in this directory called workspace. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up the original project directory for Martin's Aquarium. Now to create directories, which are simply organizational mechanisms to store the actual files that you're going to write your source code in. Right? So just like a file cabinet that stores files in it, right? We've all, we've all seen file cabinets before. That's basically what a directory is. It contains the files. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a directory for Martin's Aquarium. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Let's try that again. Aquarium. All right, so that creates a directory. Now you can use the ls command, which I have always shortened to ls, meaning look-see. When I was first learning these commands a long time ago, uh, that, that's what will let me remember what it is, because I want to take, take a look-see and we'll see what's around me. So ls, you'll see that over here, I've got a lot of directories. You won't have all these directories. But over here, you can see there is the one I just created, Martin's Aquarium. Now, I want to put myself into that directory so that I can create all the files in the directories inside there that I need for my project. So I'm going to cd into the project directory. So that's just cd. And then I can just type in mar. As soon as you have zshell set up, which you should have done on day two, it's part of the standard installation of NSS. I'm going to hit my tab key, and it'll complete that for me so I don't have to type in all of those characters every time I want to change a directory. And then I just hit enter. So you see now my prompt, which right here, it will even tell me that I'm on Martin's Aquarium. So if I do a PWD, so printing that working directory, you now see that it is different. I'm in a different location than I was originally up here. So I'm now getting down to the bottom of my terminal, and I do this a lot when I'm live coding with students, <clears throat> and I just want a nice clear terminal. And that's what the clear command is for, and it just wipes out everything puts the cursor back at the top of the screen and you're ready to go. So let me do a look-see. And right now inside Martin's Aquarium, there's nothing. I haven't created anything inside this directory. So the two directories that you're going to create inside each one of these project directories as you're building your projects is scripts, which will store all of your JavaScript files, and the styles directory, which will contain all of your CSS files. So I'm going to use the mcdir, as I say it, because it sounds like a McDonald's command or something like that. <laughs> so I'm going to use that command to create both of those directories. All right now, if I look, see, we will see, and with my color scheme, they're now like a bold blue. And that bold blue means that that is a directory. It will contain files in the future. So now I'm going to create my first file. So McDur creates directories, and the touch command creates files. So in this, in the main project directory, will contain your HTML file. So touches the command to create something, and then you just type in the name of the file you want to create, index.html. So if I look see around, I've now got three things inside of my project directory. One file, which is color-coded as blue, and two directories, which is a bold blue. Now I want to create my main JavaScript file, and I want to create my main CSS file. So let me clear my terminal. 
And I'm going to use the touch command because I'm creating files, not directories. So inside my scripts directory, so you can put a full path after the touch command. So I want to create a file inside scripts. So you type in scripts, then a slash, and we're just going to type in main.js. So that'll create a file that is inside that script subdirectory. So if I do an ls, you'll see it did not create main.js in the main project directory. But if I look see inside the scripts directory, there we go. There's where that main.js is created. I'm going to do the same thing for the CSS file. Quick look around. Nothing here in the main project directory. But if I look down inside the styles directory, there is my main CSS. All right, one more clear of the terminal. Now, I've got a utility on my uh, computer that you won't have, but this is just to show like the tree structure of a, of a directory, all of its subdirectories and where the files are. So you won't have this, so don't try this command. I just want to visually show you what this looks like. So you can see that little blue dot right here. That's where we are, right? That's what dot means in a terminal, where you currently are. And inside this directory, we have one file, a subdirectory of scripts. Inside that directory is that file, then another subdirectory, and inside that subdirectory, we have that file. So the last thing I want to show you how to do is to delete a file. So I'm going to create another HTML file just so I can delete it. You're not going to be doing this. This is just for an example. So if I, let's say I mistakenly created an index file, but I spelled it wrong like this. So, you know, if I do a look, see, I'm like, oh, that's, that's certainly not the way you spell index. So I'm going to delete that file. And the command for that is RM, which is short for remove. So remove, delete, same thing. So that one is easier. It is just remove. And then you type in the name of the file you want. So I can just type in INX, hit my tab key. It'll auto select that entire file name, hit enter and take another look around. And that file has been deleted. Now to delete a directory, it's a little bit different. Let me clear my screen again and I will make another directory and we'll call it taco just to be silly. So I've now got two directories that I do need and taco mistakenly misspelled it for whatever reason. You're still going to use the RM command, but it takes what are called terminal flags or command flags. So to delete a directory, you need the dash RF. The R is recursive and the F means force. Just so you know what those terms mean, just use RF. You don't have to understand the meaning behind all of this. Just realize that the dash RF needs to be for a directory. So you just hit the space key, type in the directory you want to delete, hit enter, look see around, and it is now gone. So there is the basic commands you're going to use in the terminal. There's plenty more that you will learn over time. But for now, this video is just going to focus on the ones that you're going to be using, I'd say, probably in the first three or four weeks of NSS. So have fun in the terminal. It's going to be a little bit scary. It's all right. It's just part of your learning curve. See you later.